Is it time to buy or sell Apple stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Apple. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, August 4, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since August 4, 2023, our system has ranked Apple as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 2.17. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. We'll continue monitoring this evaluation to see how it unfolds in the coming days. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 14.74% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 14.74% and 24.89%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 25.79% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 2.61% and 36.23%. This translates to a price range of $186.75 to $247.93 after a year. Our latest daily update for Apple includes the headline, Evaluation of Apple Stock Downgraded After the Last Trading Session. The Apple stock price fell by minus 4.80% on the last day, Friday, August 4, 2023, from $191.17 to $181.99. It has now fallen four days in a row. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 3% from a day low at $181.92 to a day high of $187.38. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a minus 5.18% loss for the last two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day by 59 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 110 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $20.02 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $198.22, and the lowest price was $124.17. Currently, the price is 8.19%, or $16.23, below the 52-week high, and 20.27%, or $46.27, below the all-time high on August 30, 2018, when the price reached $228.26. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Friday, February 3, 2023, D.A. Davidson set a price target of 173. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Raymond James set a price target of 170. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Wedbush set a price target of 180. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Rosenblatt Securities set a price target of 173. On Friday, February 3, 2023, D.A. Davidson set a price target of 173. Analysts have given Apple stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Apple. There are few to no technical positive signals at the moment. The Apple stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $192.41 and $190.55. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Monday, July 31, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 7.36%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. 
volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 5 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 1 day ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 2 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Holds a sell signal. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 131 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 123 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Apple Apple finds support from accumulated volume at $179.58 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. In general the stock tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the stock moved $5.46 between high and low, or 3%. For the last week the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.38%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Apple, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. This is a relatively normal P-E ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on October 26, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $1.37. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Apple. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Apple is at $184.92. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Apple encounters its first support level at $179.58. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Apple from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On May 16, 2023, Young Andrea conducted an insider sell of 68,642 shares of common stock. On May 10, 2023, Adams Catherine L. conducted an insider sell of 2,900 shares of common stock. On May 8, 2023, Condo Chris conducted an insider sell of 4,092 shares of common stock. On April 15, 2023, Condo Chris conducted an insider buy of 10,792 shares of common stock. On April 15, 2023, Condo Chris conducted an insider sell of 4,384 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 35.185. Overall, insiders purchased 1,451,037 shares and sold 3,312,807 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Apple stock a good buy? The Apple stock holds several negative signals and despite the positive trend, we believe Apple will perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. Therefore, we hold a negative evaluation of this stock. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a buy to a sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Monday, August 7th, 
we expect Apple to open up $1.77 and start trading at $183.76. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.